Ma, I am going to school. Son, did you take your tiffin? Yes, Ma. Today we will learn about a very different kind of living thing. Microbes. What are microbes? How are they different from the other living things? Let us understand this. We have seen many different types of living things around us, correct? Do you know there are many living organisms which we cannot see with our naked eyes because they are very tiny. So, how can we see them? We have to use a microscope. There are millions of tiny organisms present in the air, in the water and in the soil and even inside our body. They are seen through a microscope, hence called microbes. Some are good ones and some are bad ones. Many microbes cause diseases. They are called germs. You know not all the microbes are harmful. There are some microbes that are useful to us. Have you ever seen your mother making curd from milk? A type of microbes called bacteria turn milk into curd. And what are bacteria? Bacteria are one-celled tiny organisms present around us. They can't make their own food and depend either on other living or dead decaying matter. There are two types of bacteria. Parasitic bacteria which depend on living things for their food and saprophytic bacteria which depend on decaying matter for their food. You know some bacteria help us in our everyday life like they turn milk into curd. Saprophytic bacteria break down dead decaying plants and animals into the smallest and simplest particles which get back to the soil thus cleaning environment and also make soil richer. Some bacteria in our body help in digestion of food. I know you must be thinking that these bacteria are very good for us. But there are some bad bacteria that can make us sick. Some bacteria spoil the food. They rot fruits, vegetables, eggs and even flesh. So never leave a wound open as bacteria can grow on it and make it worse. Some bacteria causes disease like TB, typhoid, cholera. Some cause tooth decay. These bacteria are called pathogenic bacteria. You must be wondering how does the bacteria reproduce? Do they lay eggs or directly give birth to young ones like mammals? No. Bacteria are single cellular and they reproduce by splitting themselves into two. Surprising, isn't it? Bacteria grow very fast and can double in every half an hour if the conditions are right. Have you ever fallen ill with symptoms of cough, sore throat, running nose, nasal congestion and sneezing? So, what would have happened to us? This is common cold caused by a virus. Even chicken pox is caused by a virus. These are the second kind of microbes, viruses. The viruses are smaller than the bacteria. They are of various shapes. They live and reproduce on the body of other organisms. Apart from common cold and chicken pox, viruses cause other diseases also like mumps, influenza, measles, etc. 
so you can see how harmful these viruses are. Oh, what is that? Who spoiled that bread? This is fungus. Fungi are the third kind of microbes. Fungi are non-green plants. They depend on other living or dead organism. The most common is mushroom. Fungi not only rot our food, but causes different types of skin problems, such as ringworm. The hair dandruff is also caused by fungi. But do you know what helps in making soft bread or fluffy idlis? It is a fungus called yeast. Yeast makes the bread and the idlis fluffy and spongy. Mushroom is a fungus and some mushrooms are edible. What this means is, like other microbes, some fungi are also useful. Some fungi are also used as medicine. Penicillin, the wonder drug, is world's first antibiotic and is used to treat and prevent a variety of bacterial infections. It is made from fungi. Interesting to know, isn't it? Malaria is spread. Does anyone know how the disease malaria is spread? It is spread by the bite of an infected female mosquito. But... Do you know what actually causes it? It is caused by protozoa. The protozoa infects the mosquito and the bite of infected mosquito spreads the malaria in humans too. So, what is protozoa? A protozoan is the fourth kind of microbe. Protozoa are one-celled animals living in water. Some protozoa live in human body and cause diseases like malaria and dysentery. Now we know that microbes are tiny organisms. Some are very useful and some are harmful and some cause diseases. There are four kinds of microbes called bacteria, fungi, virus and protozoa. Can we fight against these harmful microbes? Yes, we do have our weapons ready, at least against few of them. Do you know why newborn and infants should get vaccinated? So that they do not get the dangerous diseases like polio, hepatitis B, etc. Apart from the vaccine, doing small, small things in our daily life can also protect us from these harmful microbes like washing vegetables and fruits before eating. This removes the dirt and germs from their surface. The food should also be cooked properly. Do you know why we place the leftover food in refrigerator? Because microbes do not grow in cold places and die on heating. So. Leftover food should either be kept in refrigerator or boiled properly before eating. The stale food should be thrown away and not consumed. Why do we keep our food items covered? Or why should we not eat street food from vendors who keep their food items uncovered? Because Pests like mice, cockroaches and house flies visit dirty and filthy places and microbes stick to their legs and other parts. These pests sit on the open food items and spread germs. So, food should be kept covered to prevent spreading of diseases. As germs are present everywhere, be it air, water or land, apart from food, drinking water should also be cleaned. It should be chlorinated, boiled or filtered. Drinking unclean water 
will make us ill. Is eating clean, properly cooked food and drinking clean water enough to keep ourselves healthy? No, something more than this is required. That is, washing our hands before every meal. Even if we eat clean, healthy food and drink clean water, the dirty hands will still spread infections and diseases. How? The germs get on our hands and in our nails and enter in our body when we eat food with dirty hands. They make us sick. So, we should wash our hands before and after the meals. What else can be done to protect ourselves from diseases? Why should we cover our mouth and nose while sneezing or coughing when we have cold? The mouth and nose should be covered as germs from the infected person spreads through the air to others while sneezing or coughing with the uncovered mouth. Wound should be covered, otherwise germs can make the wound worse. So now you have understood how germs spread diseases and how we can save ourselves from getting sick. Keep proper hygiene and maintain good habits as microbes love damp, dirty places. Cleanliness is the best weapon to fight them.